So Friday's game against Indiana Wesleyan was a good test for us. Uh, we had come off a, a weekend where we had played a team just out of the top 25 and a team at number 20, and we were good the weekend. Um, and so this was another test against the number 17 team, and uh, we came out very well. Um, it was at home, our first home opener, so it was exciting. The girls were up for it. They were energized, and uh, they really executed what we had been working on. We our game against Indiana Wesleyan was um, pretty pretty good. We were proud of our first half performance, especially. You know, we played really well together. Um, you know, did what we were told to do and what we worked on in practice, and um, we scored. You know, fairly early in the game and um, got up three zero. And then uh, second half, we um, <laughs> we did we did pretty well, I guess. You know, they scored. You know, but we held it together. We didn't let them come back, and um, you know, we kept our heads up. And we kept working. You know. Um, so we were proud about yeah. that. And that was a key thing because the week before that we played, you know, Westminster and it was like four to nothing at the end of the first half where it was three to nothing at the end of the first half this past week. So, you know, the fact that Westminster came back and tied us and then we, we won in overtime to, to, you know, to be able to keep that three nil, um, three nil win lead yeah, throughout the, till, yeah. till the end of, towards the end of yeah. the second half. So we were proud about that. And then we played out Martin Methodist the day after, and of course our legs were just as dead as theirs, so we can't use that as an excuse. It was it was a battle, but mm -hmm. um, you know we 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 fought hard, you know, and we didn't give up. You know, there were several times where we could have just, you know, because they had the possession most of the game, and that's frustrating when you're playing. You don't you want you want to keep the ball, but um, you know, but we defended, um, and we just we just gutted it out really, and um, yeah. And then overtime, Chrissy decided she was tired of running, and so uh, 21 seven. seconds overtime, she scored. So. Playing Martin Methodist, the number five team in the country, on Saturday uh, was definitely an interesting um, game for us from a couple standpoints. We had shown earlier in the year, last weekend, that we were going to struggle the second night playing two in a row. Um, and having Martin such a strong team the second night, I was curious to see how we would react to that. Um, and to be fair, our girls reacted well to it. We, in the previous three games, I believe, we had scored in the first five minutes and really kind of taken control of the game. Uh, in this game, we didn't. Uh, we played okay um, and well enough to keep uh, the scoreline 0-0 for quite a long time. Um, but uh, the interesting thing was that we reacted to that fairly well. We didn't, we didn't have a breakdown. We didn't quit. Playing with... Melissa over here is uh, nothing new. We played in high school together. Um, and then, of course, I came to college, and she was still in high school, so we had a year separate. But uh, I'm really, really glad that she she chose to come here and that we're playing together. It's really fun encouraging each other and stuff. We, we both miss Anna a lot. A little shout-out to Anna if you're watching this. We miss you. Um, but, no, it's really cool, you know, because we, you, you know, on a team, you know, you grow together, and, you know, you, you – you have other bonds that, you know, girls become sisters, even though not blood related, but then to be able to play next to, you know, Mel, who is, you know, related to me, it's, it's really special, you know, because watching her work hard and grow and learn a new position, like, you know, she's, you know, watching her fight through it, it's been, it's been cool, Mel. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I have to say the same, obviously, <laughs> you know, because Olivia is a real big motivator um, to me. I mean, I mean, she didn't have to be blood related to be motivated to me because just the way you see her work on the field and, and she's constantly 100% all in, like, it just reminds me to be 100% all in.